Okay, so time for a quick uh, recap of the weekend. As you may have known, I raced a time trial uh, not so far from here. And I have to say the conditions on the day were perfect, but I experienced a problem with my <coughs> time trial suit that I didn't realize earlier. Uh, it got a bit shrinked with washing, and what that did is that it closed up my chest real bad and cut off my circulation a bit and it was a bit uh, too late when I realized it because when I started off my heart rate went to 185s and above <clears throat> so I got completely cooked and I had to back off my power so I have to say my time trial was a bit or actually a lot screwed up and I couldn't do anywhere near my preferred power but I guess that's it, we learn from our mistakes so uh, it's time to go on for next week I still got a quite respectable 4th place so but still it's pretty much a bummer because I feel I could have won easily uh, on the other hand the bike worked perfectly uh, even though I spent quite a lot of attention setting it up so I'm happy with that <clears throat> the wind was very low so I could run the 8 by 8 front wheel extremely safely and I was also really really, really happy to be on a one by drivetrain because I, I have seen a couple of guys slip the chain when they were starting in a big ring cross chain and obviously a one by setup eliminates this because it has a clutch and derailleur so you chain can't really slip and it also makes it a bit easier to concentrate on your riding when you just have to think uh, easier or harder the rest of the kit, the shoes were really fine as well very comfortable, extremely stiff I'm talking about the S-Work Sub-6 shoes now the helmet, Giro Arrowhead also uh, performed brilliantly, I didn't overheat even though it was uh, very warm for the season it was um, kind of, well, it was a lot warmer than the days before but I don't think that has been a problem uh, so now I'm going to still focus on my time trialing as I have one more TT coming up on Sunday it will be uh, quite a hilly course so what I've done to my bike uh, to prepare, I put on a bigger cassette, Lemon 32, uh, on there so I have an easier climbing gear. So now it should be, I'm, I should be able to ride with good cadence down to around 20 km per hour, so that's perfectly fine for a time trial. It's going to be uh, 25 km roughly 30, 32, 35 minutes depending on the course so I will need a water bottle for this one so I'm going to use the uh, Elite Aero water bottle and then the rest of the setup pretty much stays the same obviously I have training tires now uh, since it's a bit of a hillier course I also want to test out uh, riding with uh, the dash tubular disc uh, in training, which is much lighter and then based on the test I'm going to choose which one I'm going to ride in a race but I would prefer to run the Super 9 zip because it's, it's a lot stiffer, it breaks better uh, which is going to be better in downhills I also need to work on my descending as well uh, since I've been riding uh, on the flat a lot lately it's a bit rusty, so I need to work on that Today I was trying out some aero ducks to gain some speed, but I definitely need some work on cornering. Uh, I think I have more rest as well before the race, so I'm fresher than last time. Maybe that will help as well. Yeah, so this pretty much sums up my upcoming week. I've also got some uh, tech news for you, so stay tuned. Uh, if you want to see more videos about this bike setup, or maybe my road bike or some other high-end stuff then don't forget to tune into my channel and subscribe 
That's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.